Hey, what's up, people? This is Cosmic Daddy. And, uh, it seems that we got a lot of ones at this moment. Wow. It's one eleven two thousand eleven. So there is five ones. And even though there could be more ones on this moment, I felt need to remind you that we are one. We are not separated. We are one human race that is one with the animal kingdom, that is one with the planet, that is one with the macrocosmos. We are that planet. We are that macrocosmos. We are the universe. We are the universe. It doesn't matter if you come from another nationality or you share different race, religion, gender. You are still one with me if you let me to be one with you because I am one with everything and uh, it's not something that is highly like uh, overrated in the Western society, but uh, we seem to have this dualistic worldview, and uh, all the barriers that keep us from living beautiful, natural life. One with the nature and uh, animals, and you know we got social classes, we got racism, you know, we got different nationalities, and they they are all illusion. Bigotry is created by ego. The ego wants us to be bigots because it feeds our sense of worth, you know, it kind of like strokes our fragile egos and that we start to Think that we are center of the universe and our nations better than others, and that our God is bigger than their God, and that our gender is, uh, you know, both, and uh, all this is an illusion created by bigotry and ego. And I don't just blame the West, you know. Even though I seem to think that there's some cultural difference between uh, West and East, but there's some narrow mounted pigots in the East as well. So it's not just our problem. I think.
I think I, I still think that you know Western world is more built on ego and uh, control and you know all that. If you if you think about capitalism, it's about this hierarchical class system where where's there's labor and uh, which I see and uh, they they never cooperate. They 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 have this um, hierarch hierarchical power structure and the uh, bourgeoisie is at the top and the labor is like I don't and this Christianity that is basically dualistic so it I don't blame all Christians. I think there are some decent Christians I like. I do like there are some Jews, but uh, I have more problem with you know, bigots. You know, just you know, like this uh, this uh, mass murder case in Norway. You know, there are some people that might take Bible too seriously. You know, and uh, believe everything that's written, and uh, just take a gun and shoot a bunch of people dead. Uh, no question about that. The case is, I think, if you look at East, there's problem with fanatism, you know, and uh, they still seem to have some kind of respect, you know, they they basically preach uh, their religions and philosophies preach respect and harmony and I can relate with that, you know, way better than the Western, you know, ego, greed, blah 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 bullshit. Uh, I think New Age and the cultural left has uh, lots of things in common. If you think about communists, socialists, and anarchists, may go that is, you know, world peace and uh, cooperations with different nations and uh, becoming one. You know, basically losing all the barriers. You know, humanity finally embracing itself at the highest form, you know, people living peacefully together in harmony and uh, uh, it's like the, most people who call themselves communists, they, they believe in uh, uniting the whole world and as well as like Chinese basic goal is the same, uh, freeing humanity from oppression and uh, breaking down all the national bar barriers and uh, suppressive and oppressive institutions and uh, it's, it's kind of interesting that they both, communism and anarchism seem to have the same actual goal, you know, status, classless, non hierarchical society where people are in peace and But they seem to have some difference in in sense that they how they make this kind of world possible, they have different ideas and uh, you know, communists believe that there should be like uh, three stages. Like the first stage is, of course, revolution against the bourgeoisie, and uh, the second stage is proletarian dictatorship 
uh, uh, so this is the stage after the class one, okay? And uh, the last stage, the third stage is the world communism, you know, uniting all the people. Actually, you know, it's basically the same as Law of One and all these New Age uh, religions becoming one, you know, one world. And I call it positive path. Positive path includes all the ideologies and uh, ideas and uh, people, all the people who have this kind of progressive ideas I consider to be positive, so I use the term positive path. And uh, then there's the negative path. I think the negative path for us, for me, for people who think like me, if there's any, uh, I, I consider negative path, the path that's walked by people who want to live in the matrix or are running the show, the box, the matrix, the program, 